Hello everybody and welcome back to Rise of Forbidden West where I just also if we if we have to deal with capitalism even in the form of the word CEO that's been like mutated I'm gonna scream well of course we're gonna have to deal with capitalism and that's why I'm concerned right because they have CEO they have CEO as like a term of like high prestige right so I'm like are they gonna be like Ted Farrow fans or are they gonna be like uh not but he's an ancestor type but they have to know what he did but maybe they're modeling themselves kind of off of stuff that he did or stuff that he would consider valuable it would be interesting because again like capitalism is like you know uh, like theoretically looked down upon in like China specifically but like they they're in a lot of ways they do they are kind of just from what I have heard, again, I'm not an econo economist, but they do actually have more capitalistic tendencies than they would like to admit. Um, good use of this. But, so it would be interesting to see if they, like, combined. A barbarian! What? I... Run, stranger! There's a killer machine Oh, did I just run right into the arena? Oh, that's what I'm here for. The machine will kill you! No, oh, no, no, I got, I hid. Yeah, okay. There you are. No, no, absolutely I not. I hit. I knew I shouldn't have flown right into that. It is kind of orange, so I'm kind of concerned. My goodness, kitty. What what do you want? I keep pressing the wrong button. Um no skills. Oh my gosh, I have so many points. What should I even do with them? I don't even know. Um do I have like machine damage? Less damage while mounted, move faster while wearing a or holding a weapon shirt. No, kitty, I have nothing for you. And all potions are faster to consume. Sure. Kate, what? Oh my gosh, this cat. When I'm dangerously wounded. Let's see what we had going down here. Deal more damage while using a heavy weapon? That would be nice. Oh, I should have done that too. It's okay. Three. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, look at me. Freaking stuck in an arena fight when this is not... No! This is not what I am equipped for. If I just stay over here, maybe... No? I was, actually. This is what I was gonna do. Do I have... I don't know which one I have equipped right now. It is currently equipped. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Oh, sucks to suck! Don't look at me! No, don't look! Stop following me! Oh my gosh, stop following me! Oh, this is not gonna work! Yep, not gonna work! Oh my gosh! It's too close to its origin point. Okay, what I need, I can't, I need the terror arrows, but I don't have any! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do, it's coming for me! <sighs> Rope casters are useless in this game. What I needed to, what I should have been keeping an eye out for, and I knew I, I did know I wanted this, but I just haven't been able to find one as a better sling. Deliver 
higher payloads of stuff. I I don't my usual tactic of um <laughs> my usual tactic of uh I don't know, anything is just not it's not happening right now. Let me see if this is a good autosave. That thing just ran me over. Um where I the thing I want to do is like knock off the bits and pieces of it, right? So I need machine muscle to do that. There you ah. go. I guess we're doing this. Okay, well, we're I gotta have to figure out a different way to do things, guys. Um I got a new web where did I get that? Oh shock and piercing shredders. I mean sure this weapon's useless. Um Berserker bow, no good. Let me check what Where are you at, Thunderjaw? Did I not get the scanning? Oh, it's already damaged. Dope. Weak versus purge water and acid. Cool, I have uh, nothing for that. Not really, but you know what I mean? I'm just... <laughs> I do have the acid bow equipped. Uh, I think the only purge water weapon I have. Oh, the rope caster? Oh, I guess I could try. I'm freaking. Um. I'm pretty sure I have. The sling that does it, but this is a uh, this is gonna not this is gonna be a subpar. <laughs> Trying to catch it. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. I was trying to catch it again. Did I miss? Missing one of its guns, that's good. Oh, I missed it again. Please knock the component off. Oh, hit the ground. We're both like kind of hitting the ground at this point. back to me at the angle in that enemy armor I am trying to do that okay I should maybe try to use the
Dang it! What are they fire? Are they like helping me? Because that's that's dope. Oh, good. Give it to me. Is that a? Isn't that a weapon I could use? Or is it not? It is not. Oh, that's just the right. Which is I actually do want to get that off. What the gun I really like is that one. I want to grab it. Ooh, you haven't done anything like that up until now. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to run away from it. Again. Is it? I was like, is it glitched? Because I will totally use that. What? Oh. Ow. Oh, I was trying to. I knocked it off. I knocked it off. I did. Oops, that's not. <laughs> I can't do it. No, I don't want to be here. Ooh. I swear I knocked its face gun off. Give me your face gun. Oh, that was unfair. What? Oh my gosh, I can't use the face gun? I can only use that gun? Hold up. Oh. Oh. Thunderjaw, what? Oh. Oh. I hope they let me loot before I have to go anywhere. Dang it! I'm trying to go for the exposed bit. Stop running at me. It was so nice when you stayed far away. Okay, that's fine. We'll be ready for her next time. You ready for me or ready for her? Oh, good. Oh, no. Stop moving around. Is that a dreadwing I just saw in the distance? Did I just knock the gun off? I think I did enough damage for that. I love actually being able to. Yes, knock off its weapon. Oh, good. Give it to me. Come at me. Come over here. Yeah, come over here. Oh, it still got me. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Where? There it is. I'm so scared. Look behind me. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, then. Open the gate. Discovered campfire. How great. How nice for us. Jeez Louise. I. Thunder jaw fights are pretty fun. If you can knock off their weapons. I do enjoy when a, when a thunder jaw fight goes successfully. When a thunder jaw fight does not go successfully, I do not enjoy it. I actually do have, I think I've mentioned it, but I do have the thunder jaw model. Um, I got it for the board game. And I do plan on 
painting at some point. Comes non, non unpainted, non painted, unpainted. There were some other pieces I knocked off of it that I want. At least one, I think, that I, I got the rapid fire cannon off of its face, and I think I already grabbed that, but here we go. The radar. That was the other thing. Meow. Listen, kitty, you've been sleeping all day. I do think they were Hail machine hunter. helping, Speak with us. which is nice. Like, it, sometimes the thunder jaw was looking elsewhere, and that was helpful. Alva! Aloy! Over here! What a nice place you guys got. Pretty defensible. Alva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I... Went to landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There's something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy? You have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth oh, Solbeck helped the ancestors cast aside all what? obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. I swear I recognize him. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we? I am so concerned that these people are actually like somehow descendants of Ted Farrow. Or like the Emperor or something is like a descendant of Ted Farrow or something. I don't know. Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Okay. Cool. Ah. Behold, the door i'm gonna i'm gonna break it with my bare hands a door like no other. i'm gonna break you with my bare hands <laughs> his name was theodore well, about that oh my gosh it's designed to open for only one man ted farrell but the legacy tells us that he worked closely with sobek he trusted her Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Oh, you not gonna happen. Obviously, at least not from this side. Haven't got the whole story. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his. Oh, palace great as he was. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. No, or for servants. Mm. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. Absolutely not. Tell me right now what you were about to say. Alva, you got to, you can't just you can't just leave me hanging like this. There's gotta be a way in down there. You can't just leave me hanging. Oh my gosh, that guy's got a big gun. To think of all this preserved for the ages. They've got an Osiram build. Um Oh, God, they they do. They like Ted Farrow. They're Ted Farrow fans. I'm going to have to kill everybody here. Unfortunate. Uh, he's all... Oh, what? She's got to be saying something about Ted Farrow. And, well, because there was things that he said where it's like he that wants... Door is all that door. He wants faster results, right? The CO wants wants faster results. Um, so did Ted Farrow, right? When we went to D Demeter and we freaking were reading all that stuff with that woman who made the... Um, the vines, right? Um, 
and they, they, they like sort of essentially like develop the plague in some ways like the organic the bio the bio consumption aspect of it um and she was like he, there was certain like there was slower routes that he didn't want to take because he wanted the profit he wanted the the pizzazz the publicity now you know and that never goes well at least in the long run maybe in the short run sure but in the long run no, it's not sustainable Stands between me and destiny. i'm going to have to punch this guy i'm going to have to punch him i can tell oh that sounds honestly it sounds like <laughs> it's like unexpectedly warm water. It's like, oh, somebody peed in it. <laughs> what? Oh, it's red. Is it? Oh, oh my gosh. He, he's, I guess there, there are fault lines in San Francisco. Cisco, that's a popular apocalyptic movie trope is San Francisco getting, you know, volcanoes and earthquakes and stuff. That's why San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge is always, um, Breaking, breaking in post-apocalyptic scenarios. Even when it's not related, I, I think one of the newer Star Treks, like freaking one of the movies, they like, I think a like a spacecraft fell out of the sky or something and hit it. <laughs> you know, I think Pacific Rim, same thing. The monsters came out of the water and just crushed it because it was yeah. an oceanside city. This could get me inside. You you could not pay me to live close to the ocean. I'm not even joking. Like it's fun to visit. I would not live. I would not live on an island. I would not live on a coastal city. Like I've seen way too many post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic movies, rather, you know, or anything that has any sort of destruction. <laughs> Freaking the like these coastal cities are always getting hit. Typhoons, floods. Yeah, there's just. Anyway, he he Ted Farrow. Um, latched into it, latched into the heating, it looks like the fault, like the, the lava, under the magma, I guess, underground. Um, kind of like they did in the DLC. Oh, I see. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in in time. Nope. Uh, they did in the DLC with Cyan. Cyan in Yellowstone. Wait, is it... No, okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to wait. Okay. Go, 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 go. Imagine dying to this. What this? There's gotta be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Well, that's right. In the water, it won't let me like hold it down. What did I just hurt myself? You good? Stop the turbine. Here I was yeah. saying Ted Farrow's bunker was gonna be underwater, and I was right. By the way, let me in. Did he think he was gonna live forever? Oh my gosh, was he in contact? Oh my gosh, was he in contact with the space people? Okay, I'm inside. Don't let the Quinn in. How do I let the Quinn in? Don't let the Quinn in. Don't do it, he has, oh my. Did I just see an outline? It looks like an exercise room. Did he even use it? Oh, I'm not ready. Rip Grigori? Here I am again. Oh wait, whoops, dang it. Here I am again, hiding in the gym, writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Grigori's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday, and then suddenly passed away in his sleep, and no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. So he definitely would have had hiding in the gym, writing. To so Ted had other. Yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. Including a teenage girl. people to serve him, he would have probably like lured them in essentially with like, a, oh yeah, you can live forever. But also the fact that there's a spiritual leader, I'm like, oh no, like a cult form. 
But I assume Ted Farrow would have been the head of that, essentially, you know, like making it about to be a cult. Or maybe it was an actual spiritual leader, you know, like an actual, like, I don't know, Buddhist or, or something, you know, like a Christian evangelical or something. <laughs> um, but the way that, that Alva, I'm kind of going back a bit, but the way Alva was like, oh, I bet you these other passages were maybe for construction or for servants, you know, because it seems like they definitely want to model themselves. Well, not definitely. It seems like they want to model themselves off Ted Farrow. And so therefore, Ted Farrow has to be modeled off their expectations. Separate routes for servants, very much a thing that they would have wanted to have, you know that they would have wanted him to have. They don't really realize, I think, as far as I can tell, maybe they do, but I don't know, like, you can't get in and out of here, right? Like, technically, you couldn't get in and out. You know, it would have been for construction or water or air purposes, probably, to have these. Um, but, and, like, luckily, they've broken down enough for me to be able to get in through the walls. Um, but I didn't even realize, like, I thought he was just to be by himself with, like, holograms. I think, I think he indicated in the first game that he was gonna, like, surround himself with holograms or something. But I guess, and I thought he'd automate everything, but it seems like he actually did bring people in, and in which case, like, obviously there's no survivors. It, well, it seems like there's no survivors. Maybe there's, like a, like, a part of the bunker that's further in that, like, they could maintain, like, life support and stuff like that. But, like, this is going to get weird. This is going to get super mega weird. I can, I can already tell there's going to be, like, weird cultish behavior in here, and we're going to have to see it all break down in real time, and I am just... I'm not ready. It's a side room. Okay, maybe that's the continuation. A living area. It's what's this? Big too. Is this a, is this what's left of a people? I'm scared. I'm like waiting to find like corpses. Oh, it's a data audio. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and well, let's face it. A harem living through the insides oh. in the trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Mm. Without him, who oh. knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. I bet in the throes of his, like, you know, regret, Ted Farrow did many things, and one of the things I bet he probably did was find a spiritual guru to keep him semi-sane, and like, to make him feel oops, nothing normal to about make him feel like it wasn't his fault that oh, or or that he can like attain, you know, some sort of um, some sort of like redemption maybe like, or, but I doubt it. I think he doesn't want redemption. What he wants is. Um, well, not admonish. What is it like? No. What is the word I'm trying to think of? It starts with an A. I swear. Abs he wants to be absolved. He wants to be absolved of of what he did. And is this his daughter? Oh no, this is the spiritual leader. But was this, or is the spiritual leader, the teens? father I don't know somebody's daughter is here did I tell Ted what he needed to hear here only what he wanted to hear yep did I lead him to salvation or was I simply seeking my own I invited him to consider his being in a universe bereft of the trappings of techno nihilism but did he instead an annihilate his own past along with the rest of the world oh god what have I done yeah okay so stuff you said is what made him erase the Apollo database and I swear if we don't find a copy of that again I'm reiterating I will lose it this game, I've had enough little miniature disappointments with this game that if I don't find the Apollo database, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna word a polite polite letter to the devs and be like, please give me absolution here, give me something. Um, no. Oh, these look like dead ends. Okay. A bathroom. I love that. Like in these like places that haven't been opened in millennia or whatever um i'm finding like gear that's useful for you know aloy <laughs> like it seems like somebody's been in here leaving leaving supplies for me <laughs> and maybe the guru became um non uh didn't become useful anymore especially after ted thought he did 
thought he did what he needed to or whatever. Okay, I think that's the continuation. I just want to make sure. Four. Yep, we did that. This. A lot of my blast pace is going to the stash, and I'm like, no! I should. Okay, here we go. I, like, I should use some of it. I just don't know what I have that I'm trying to use right now that requires it. I'm like, eh. Um, in here, we'll use some for machine muscle. Oh, I didn't even use any of those. Did I get that? I know everyone's reeling after Grigor. <laughs> Untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. Uh, I'm sure he had some kind of condition. Or he's something. not even trying. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. He's not even trying. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, something tells me it didn't turn out that way. I hope he got what he deserved in the end. Also, I kind of hope that he did somehow stay in con like got in contact with the space people and got their like effective immortality or whatever it is and that he's still alive and that I can personally punch him in the teeth. And if they try to do some stupid redemption arc or some stupid, oh, he gets eaten by something and Aloy is being like passive, like n no. Absolutely not. I want a new... They're not going to let me. I want to rip him apart with my bare hands. But Aloy is, like, the main character, and she can't rip somebody apart with her bare hands. But, like, I hope I can at least stab him in the mouth. You know? Okay. I think I got everything. So this is the way to the main door. So I can let Why was in. she willing to let the Quan in? They obviously... We are obviously at odds. Like, they obviously, like... like it's, They've dropped hints that they're Ted Farrow fans, and Aloy hasn't dropped hints that she's not a Ted Farrow fan. If you walk on my PS4, kitty, I'm going to have to pick you up. Anyway, um, thank you all for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and call this one here, but thank you for joining me. I'm get I'm ready. I'm pumped up and ready to yell, so uh, woohoo. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, and Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you both very, very much for your support. I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is super supportive and whose comments are always a joy to read. So thank you so much for that. And uh, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.